you know, you can get outcamped, whatever. But it's best if you're able to come in close and get your three kills. That's all you need. You only need is three, like, really good hits, and your opponent is dead at easily, easily zero to death. If he's able to get um, electric, uh, electric Fist over and over and over again into another combo, you know? But that thing almost doesn't matter with someone like, uh, I'll say Roy, <laughs> Rob, who has things like gyro, laser, multiple lasers. And you know what? Usually that would not be a problem for someone like Kazuya. Well, Kazuya players in general. But this Kazuya does know, in fact, the input to reflect, which is quite literally nasty and also evil. Absolutely. Why does Kazuya have a stronger effect, effect in the game? Sakurai, thank you. God. Something about uh, this stage in particular, that certain combo setup that he was trying to set up for uh, Dark Blues was not possibly going to work only because the platform was in the way. Had he uh, done instead, uh, see, uh, excuse me, you guys know I don't know the the words, so the, uh, I'll use the actual names of the martial art moves. If he had upper credit up on the stage, that actually would have gotten Joe's first stock right then and there, straight up. Easily. But you know, both players keeping it. I told you! Oh my god, wait, pause! Oh my god, I heard the reflector. And then he died. <laughs> oh no. I didn't get to see what happened there, but I had a reflector. It went back on him, I guess. And he kind of died for it, which really sucks on uh, Dark Blue's behalf. But you know what? Not too much of a, uh, a deficit for him and Dill. Uh, for him and Dill. You know, Dill at 132, if he's able to get back on the stage, first of all, he could easily close this out. But Dill has a really good ledge game, a ledge um, camper kind of recovery. Uh, what did I just say? A ledge game. Uh, trap kind of thing going on. Let's trapping. Oh no. Oh, you can come back. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're so dead. Am I alone? Yeah. I think I'm alone, guys. Hee 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 hee. Funny antics. I'm about to ensue because Kazuya, again, he has rage going on. Not overdrive quite yet, but he does have rage. And that's going to fit. Only 20%. I thought it was a little bit more. Had he had overdrive, it would have been a clean 40% on deal. Oh, this this might be something uh, really big. Had he gotten the the rest of the combo on that platform, but you know what? Either way, doesn't really matter because if he keeps up this uh, this rage he has going on, hopefully he gets overdrive um, again if he didn't get it already. It'd be really dangerous for Dill. But again, caught in like a off stage situation where Dill is this is where Dill kind of uh, excels, getting that nair, um, getting that nair on Dark Blues and taking off his second stock very easily, one sixty three percent. Nothing to scoff at, but he only has 47% credit to his name. And he had, like, Dark Blues has to capitalize on that as much as he can. See the reflector. Told you, this Kazuya knows his inputs. He knows the things that he needs to do. This is a reflector. Which is going to be very useful against uh, Dill. Because she will use those lasers at the, as often as she can in order to kind of keep you at bay or, keep, or snipe you off the ledge. Wow, and just like that, this game is even. <laughs> like... This game is literally even, not gonna do too much, you know, if had he had Rage and Overdrive, it would've been clean 40%, but 20% is gonna scoff at that one move to 21%, that's actually kinda nasty. And the fact that Nair Spikes is also nasty, you know, I don't think I'm gonna talk about that enough. Nair Spikes, rude. Yeah, he's trying to fish for, for a certain combo, I'm not sure how it goes, I, I can see in my head, I, not, I just can't articulate it, because I don't know, like, the stupid moves. But he's, he will be look, looking for that Electric Wind God. Oh, this might be it. No, Dill very smart on her behalf to kind of uh, avoid the whole situation by just going off ledge because she knows that Kazuya typically will not try to fight you off the, off the stage. Like, oh, no, 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 There's no way. You're funny. You're a funny guy. Wait, okay. I'm so sure that Dill could actually recover from this. She grabbed the ledge. Oh, it's because she air dodged. Dang! Yeah, that back air didn't... Well, of course, the back air uh, made her go past the ledge, but I don't think she was expecting that. And accidentally air dodged uh, just down, or just neutral air dodge. Very unfortunate. Yeah, because usually Rob can re re typically recover that, but once you, once you pretty much air, doff, air, air, doff, <laughs> air dodge uh, off a ledge like that, like that deep into the blast zone, it's, it's pretty much impossible to come back. Um, this is a really, really unfortunate way to end the stock right there, uh, for Doe. But, you know, we're going to game two. She had a really good run, like, a really good, like, start to the match. So, you know, I'm sure that if she's able to go on her, you typically, she, she likes to go on TNT. So, I didn't get to see, but if she's able to go on, oh, no! 
TNC was actually banned by Dark Blues. Because he knows. Still is very good on TNC. She's actually so good. So we're going to run it right back to the small battlefield. Going with Twilight Stigmata as the music of choice. And again, it might be a, another really good start for Dill, and it might turn into Dark Blues' favor in the end. But if Dill's able to kind of keep Dark Blues away, just like she is right now using Gyro and Laser, it might... Ooh, in the side B? She might do a really good job at making sure that she kind of keeps this really good lead she has going on right now she had in the first game. Yeah, no, he's trying to, trying to fish for that uh, Electric Wind God Fist mean combo starter. Because it is mean. It's evil and foul, and you know what's also evil and foul? Dill taking uh, Dark Blues' first stock just like that. Oh, this might be... Huh. The, the, upper, platform, uh, the upper platform on uh, Battlefield, the two middle ones, might be a little bit too high for Dark Blues to continue that combo that he, that he really wants to fish for. At least for, uh, for Rob, you know? So, really unfortunate. Has to kind of change up the game plan a little bit, because now he's at... He's at 52%. Dill chilling at 118. And she's only like a more percentage on Dark Blues using a lot of uh, Rob. Rob, great ledge trapping techniques such as Gyro and Nair and of course lasers as well. And you know, she's also using a lot of her, her tilt, her down tilt as well. You know, the thing against Kazuya is you have to, you really want to keep him at bay. Because once he comes close, game that bear. Not quite going to kill though, because Kazuya is in fact a very, very big man. But that's probably going to kill. Absolutely, Saibi will kill off the of stage. Mm, absolutely. But again, as I was saying, you know, Kazuya is a heavy man. Probably won't die very easily. We've seen uh, Dark Blues at absurd percents, like over 200% before. And now here we go, getting the Rob up airs. That are so, so detrimental. I applaud Dark Blues for trying to weigh it out, seeing what she was going to do. But I think he waited a little bit too long. Finally getting out of those up, that up air he's getting into. And in the, uh, the spinning side kick. I mean, the spinning hook kick. Sorry, I don't know what that's called. It's a spinning hook kick, though. No! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Do you see why Kazuya is a very scary character? Just in about 20 seconds, not even, less than 20 seconds, he took out Dill's first and second stock. Oh, but that, I believe that was Forest Smash. I didn't get to see, but I think it was Forest Smash uh, from the ending pose. What is the finishing kill for Dark Blues? And we're going to take it to game three. But like, 15 seconds. Took two stocks. Yeah, was. Oh my god. You're evil. You're evil and messed up. Kazuya is broken. Kazuya is cracked. Like, cracked like an egg. Like, it's actually nasty. It was a great comeback uh, going on for him, though. You know, he had taken off those first stock and simply, like, got over, uh, got, <laughs> got her second stock really, really quickly. Here we go. We have the first second taking right now. She comes right back from the angel platform, tries to dare, tries to up tilt. Gets her gyro uh, reflected and a punch at 38% right off the side of on the edge of the stage into the blast zone and taking her second stock. So e that's evil. That's evil. And there goes Rob. Bye, Rob. Bye. Now going over to Hollow Bastion. So slowly becoming one of my new favorite stages alongside FD. Great platform. Pretty much Smashville, just a different. Uh, the blast zones are a little, are a little bit different. I believe they're closer to the stage, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. And the middle platform does give, um, oh my god, does give Dill a little bit more space to run around in. Uh, rather than having three separate platforms, she has one middle platform that she can kind of use to her advantage using up tilt, up air, and that, you know, the down throw, up tilt, up to up air combo that she likes to do a lot. The same thing with Kazuya. I believe, actually, on this stage, his combo, actually, his, uh, up, his, uh, up, up, uh, up cut, up, oh my gosh. Uh, uppercuts are actually able to connect on this platform. So, good stage, uh, both for Dill and unfortunately for Kazuya. Ah, uh, see, now we're no, both both people really trying to find a way in. Both of them really trying to, you know, keep it a little bit of a distance. But it doesn't really matter because Darbush has got his first off taken very quickly. But Dill at 110%. And like we saw before, it could go away so quickly. But oh no no no, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. You can come back, you can come back, you can come back. Oh no, you can't. This is really unfortunate. Uh, this is a very unfortunate start for uh, Dark Blues. But you know what? Kazuya does is a comeback kind of character. He has overdrive, he has rage to his advantage, and that nair does spike. But again, Kazuya, 
comeback mechanic, rage, and overdrive. That command grab that makes him go like up and then like kills you. That can be a really good game plan if he's able to get it, honestly. So, you know, not entirely a uh, uh, like, uh, unfortunate event for Dark Blues. If he can get out of these Rob um, ledge trapping situations, even though he's at 110%, per 111 is not entirely. Yes, it is. Oh, I had a lot of hope there, you know? Kazuya does, is a comeback character, and unfortunately, that air dodge, or that air dodge offstage, I believe also because the stage is sloped and it's not a pillar like platform. It's harder for Kaja to recover because he kind of, I don't know, he just can't come back as easily as he would on like a pillar stage or something with a little more flatter of a uh, like a main platform. So really unfortunate run for uh, Dark Blues. He will be going through losers, which should be fine. Honestly, he should be, he should be good. He should be able to get some get some good numbers in there. But speaking of numbers, we do have John numbers and Swords coming up. We fit and a Yoshi. And God, I mean, we've, we've seen both players before. Um, up next, like, should be in numbers' his favor, give or take. If he's able to kind of avoid a, a lot of Yoshi's, uh, you know, funnies. I have the ghost of numbers here, of course. My favorite. He's, uh, turned to the third week. Over here. Oh, I just heard Dark Blues went, uh, I have, I have no idea what he's fighting. I didn't hear a second person. But again, that last game, very unfortunate, and for Dark Blues, that second stock was just...